Hello everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Hey, Shook. <laughs> okay, all right, so you're probably wondering what is this really plain white box sitting um, here on my desk? Uh, I just got this in the mail today and I had forgotten that I had ordered it. So I've been ordering some things from different companies, uh, new to me companies to try things out. Um, to show all of you if they're worth purchasing. Um, it is nice to have a variety of companies, um, you know, to look for uh, smaller diamond paintings, snack size diamond paintings, that kind of thing. So uh, we're going to get into this and I will explain where it's from and all that good stuff. I have no idea if it's poured glue or double sided adhesive. Um, I have a feeling it's probably double sided adhesive. And I'm correct. So it is double-sided adhesive. There's nothing in the box. Okay, so I ordered this from a company called The Good Canvas, as I'm sure you can see in the title of the video. Um, I was up late one night and scrolling through my phone, as we all do, on Instagram, and I saw an advertisement for this company. I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. Um, right. So we're going to have a struggle bus here. I'm just going to cut this. Uh, so I was like, okay, let me, let me flip through and see what they've got. So I did, and I picked a kind of smaller size painting just to give it a shot. Uh, these are the drills. Interesting. Interesting. So these drills are actually packaged by color. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen drills packaged like that. So if you look, like it looks like all the greens are together. Um, all the reds and pinks are together. Okay, we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Um, this is your toolkit. It's your basic toolkit, a pink pen. Um, it is a long piece of wax, which is nice. I use those for my multi-placer from time to time. A very cheap set of tweezers. Um, you know, the cheap metal tweezers. I don't, I don't use those. And you do get a squishy, but just your green boat basic, basic toolkit. Um, yeah, okay, so I got this in a 45 by 45, so it is a square. Um, right off the bat, I'll tell you, I like the fact that they have branded the canvas with their company. It's called The Good Canvas, and I'm going to try and show you this schematic if it will camera's going to be a patoot. I'm sorry. Um, doo -doo -doo. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, there you go. You can kind of see it. This one is called the Tiger Cub. And it's a tiger sitting in the midst of a, like a pond, kind of. Um, if I remember, I will try to get um, an image to put up on the screen for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do, double-sided adhesive. Now, there is a, there's a legend over here, and there's also a legend in the bottom right. So, um, they do have their um, social media down at the bottom. They have email us at... Um, Okay. All right. So we are going to carefully pull back. Mm. Okay. There we go. And I will probably redo this anyway. Let me see if I can go up a little bit so you guys can see this. See more of the canvas. Sorry for the glare. Um, I'm probably going to recover this with parchment paper anyway. But I figured this was a new company. We'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Wow, this is actually 
pretty clear. Um, and like I said, I just got a, a smaller size than what I would normally get. Sorry, this light. Let me try to do it this way so you guys don't have the glare. There we go. Um, I tried to get a smaller size, so it would just be, you know, try it out kind of thing. Sorry, I'm taking my time pulling this off because I don't want to damage the canvas. That looks really good. I was... I was concerned because it wasn't an up close, I don't want to pull it all the way off. Um, it was not an up close image, but y'all that, that actually looks pretty good. Um, let's see. It is very, very sticky. Um, let me pull this up here. Okay, so I paid $37.99 for this canvas. It's a 45 by 45 centimeter. I paid $5 shipping. So my total was $42.99. I feel like that's a little pricey for a double-sided adhesive canvas. Um, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, so total was $42.99. Uh, wow, this, I'm actually kind of, kind of impressed. I don't want to pull it back too much further. Uh, but basically, it's just like a tiger cub sitting on like a huge lily pad in the middle of a, of a lake with real pretty flowers down beneath it. All right, now I'm going to come up here and see if I can show you. Actually, well, yeah, I'll try. Um, try to show you the symbols look really clear you can tell the dark symbols you can tell what they are because they have the white lettering which is super nice super nice sorry for the glare so yeah um wow that's it's pretty impressive if i do say so myself pretty impressive so has, have any of you heard of this company, The Good Canvas, um, or seen it? Have you ordered from them? If you have, what did you think? What did you get? Let me know in the comments below. I just saw it as a new company and figured, okay, let me, let me order something, you know, and see how it goes. I did order this in round drills. Um, it did give me the option to do round or square drills. Um, so yeah. All right, now let me do this without trying to move this up a little bit. I'll try and measure and see. I'm sure the 45 by 45. No, actually. Y'all, the 45 by 45 is the actual canvas size that you diamond paint on. So that's 45. And that is 45 so kudos to them for that so that's your actual um, you know the area you're gonna drill on is 45 by 45 nice most most companies with double-sided adhesive they're going to say it's 45 by 45 but that's the size of the entire canvas which obviously is somewhat inaccurate so kudos to them on that um, like I said, the the symbol quality is clear. Um, on the darker ones, they're using the white letters, which is super, super helpful. Um, except for, well, now on the dark green, they do use black on that. But on like the black and brown, they're using white letters. Um, yeah, looks good. Okay. What do y'all think? I think that looks pretty good for double-sided adhesive for a 45 by 45. Um, to me, a 45 by 45 is not that big. I mean, you know, it's a little bit bigger than a 30 by 40, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put this back on it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna recover that with parchment paper. Um, and for those of you that are new to diamond painting, a trick with double-sided adhesive, if it's all wrinkled and curled up, 
all you got to do is peel back the paper, put it back down, and it lays flat. So, okay, so we're going to leave it there. All right, let's look at these drills. Um, yeah, I was like, who is this company? Um, yeah. So... Okay. Yeah, but they packaged all of these. Now, I did not get an inventory sheet at all with this. No inventory sheet, no sticker sheet. The only thing I have to go by is what is on the canvas, which is fine. Um, and they have... Yes, they have DMC codes because I see the black is 310. Um, so these should have DMC codes. Now, I will say a suggestion to the company. Let me put this light back over here. Turn it down a little bit. Suggestion to um, the good canvas is on your bags. Uh, this is one thing that really I don't care for. Um, it's so hard to see these. Um, these are all the same. Okay, so I'm actually going to bring the camera down, you guys. Okay, so on these is the gold is the gold lettering. I find this really hard to read. Um, I am not a fan of of drills that have the gold lettering on them like that. Um, primarily because I'm old, can't see all that good stuff, but um, it's just really difficult for me to see that. Um, I would prefer them to be in, you know, the ones with the silver with the black lettering or the black numbers or the, um, you know, white so you can actually see it better. So anyway, all right, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 936. The other thing they could have done is just put, like all of them are packaged in these little half bags. I've never seen drills like this before. I feel like this is kind of wasteful. Um, and I'm not trying to sound negative. I'm just, these are just, as as I, as I think it, it just comes out of my mouth. Um, I feel like, it, you know, all of these probably could have fit in one normal size bag, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's 936. It's like an olive olive green. Um, yeah, like this. This is 704. Now, these, these are labeled with black. They have black on them, which you can barely see that, but it does say 704. Um, and 704 is uh, the letter V, which is the green. Um, but yeah, it's like this whole row of these little half bags. Has anybody else gotten um, gotten kits that are bagged like this? This is interesting to me. Okay, now this one, we're back to the gold numbers. Um, that's 169. It's like a gray-blue. 169. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. This one has blue metallic numbers on it. Um, it it's supposed to be 154. Um, let's see. 154. I know you can't see that. I have to like turn it sideways. Yeah. Okay, so we've got gold numbers, black numbers, metallic blue numbers, uh, 734. It's like a, a yellow, like a mustardy yellow color. Um, wow, okay, I can barely see that. Um, I'm assuming that's... Okay, so, oh, this is, um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of this. Okay, so both of these are 800. You can see the 800 in the black lettering over here, but then this one has got like a, a really faint blue metallic 800 on it. You can barely, barely see it. Whew, okay. Um, this one is eight. 
oh my gosh, come on, eight, 19. I can, I can't really, I can't really tell if that was, if that was a nine or a zero, but it's eight, 19. So you get five bags of that. Oh, these bags are so strange. <laughs> Um, that's A23. It's like a, a dark blue. <laughs> okay. Um, this is 890. It's a dark green. You can see that. It's like a real pretty forest green. Um, this one is... Oh, wait, now we have red metallic. Wow, they're using all kinds of colors here, Shug. Um, 844. It's like a, a dark brown. I mean, the drills look good. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a lot of trash in the drills. Um, so that's good. Uh, let's see. This one is 677 like a, a peach color. Uh, okay. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Print them that big. Then I can see them. That's 151. <laughs> um, okay. And we've got red metallic numbers. That is 905. It's like a Kelly green. Real pretty. Uh, that's a pretty, it's like a mint green. Wait, what number is this? 954. That one's pretty easy to, easy to see. Uh, 3849. That's an awesome color. It's like a real pretty um, aqua, but it's a, it's got a green shade to it. I know you can't see it because of the camera and the lighting, but um, yeah, real pretty. Okay, this is a 3721. It is nice that they have DMC codes. I just wish they numbered these baggies uh, differently. This is 3765. It's another real pretty blue. Um, 3750. This is one of my favorite colors. It's like a really dark gray aqua color, real pretty. Um, and a light blue, it's like a, or it's like a grayish blue, 9932. Nine, um, another green, this one is 3363. Three. So it's like a, it's kind of a olive green. There's numbers though, y'all, I, I can barely see it. Three, 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 six, three. Um, this one is three, three, five, four. It's a real pretty, like, kind of corally pink. Look at that pink. Woo, nine, five, six. That is like in your face pink right there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's bright. Okay, uh, there's a 310. They've got the 310 marks with um, red metallic numbers. Yeah, a couple of hitchhikers, maybe? No, just the camera. The, the blue you see is just from my camera above us. Um, the 310s. Most of the dark drills are where you're going to see a lot of uh, issues since they're mass produced. I don't see a whole lot of bad ones. So yeah, three times, and then um, 938. Like I said, the blue is just from my camera, from the glare, it's like a brown. Um, yeah, so, trying to, see let me try to pull this up real quick um i should have done this ahead of time but of course you know me being prepared 
Not a thing. Not a thing. Uh, let's see if I can just pull it up. Show you guys a picture. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Oh, that's not it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. That's what it's called, right? Good canvas. Yeah. Good canvas. Okay. Sorry. Just trying to get to. Here we go. Took me a second. Okay. So that is what it is supposed to look like. If you guys can see that as the tiger cub so um yeah so oh and now it's on sale <laughs> now it's on sale for 23.99 come on well that was for a 25 by 25 so this is what i wanted to show you um so here you can choose 25 by 25 you drop down gives you a drop down so you can choose 25 by 25, 35 by 35, 45 by 45, or 55 by 55. I went with the 45 by 45 and then you can choose your diamond shape so you can choose square or round which I thought that was really cool most places aren't going to let you do that um, so yeah actually let's see no it is it's still 37 it's 37.99 so that's what I paid for it um, Oh, look, there's a better picture. Sorry. Much better picture. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was like so pretty and it was something unique. I haven't seen anybody else do this one or show this one. So I thought it was very cool. So anyway, so yeah, that is the good canvas, uh, the tiger cub. Um, and again, I kind of want to pull this part again. Let me put this back up. So you can see it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm really impressed with, with the image. Like, oh, sorry. Like, put that away from the canvas. I'm just really impressed with that image, y'all. Like, I think that is like really not bad. And again, you, you've got your legend on both sides. They've got it. <laughs> they've got it branded at the top with a good canvas. You've got a schematic image. You've got the title of what it is over here, a tiger cob, and you've got your size. Um, the downsides are um, these weird bags. Um, I mean, uh, to each their own, but I mean, it's just not my preference. I think these are hard to read and kind of a waste of plastic. Um, so yeah, the downside, in my opinion, are the way the drills are packaged. You don't get an inventory sheet and it's double-sided adhesive, but I'm going to cover it with parchment paper. It'll be fine. I can even use, I've got release paper from Diamond Art Club um, that I can just put over it if I wanted to instead of using this. Um, which that would defeat the purpose because they're both the same thing. So yeah, I'll probably just put parchment paper over it um, until I actually do it. But yeah, it's a good canvas. Uh, new to me company. Uh, again, like I said, down in the comments below, let me know of anyone that has heard of this company, has ordered from this company. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, would you order from this company? Um, I, I would probably order from this company again. Um, I might contact them. In fact, I probably will. Most time I do a review, not a review, but an unboxing. Um, I generally do contact the company and say, Hey, I bought this from you. Here are some, you know, suggestions, just food for thought. Um, so I will probably contact them and, um, just let them know my thoughts as far as the bags and, and, um, inventory sheet, that kind of thing. Um, 
But the pros, like I said, those were the cons. Pros are, I mean, this canvas is super clear. The symbols are very clear. Um, they're branded at the top. Um, you've got legend on both sides. It is true to size where you're drilling. So like, I mean, it's 45 by 45 actual canvas drill size. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm rather impressed to be honest with you. I didn't know what I was going to get. Um, because of course on there, it doesn't tell you if it's, you know, oh, I didn't bring this up high enough. Sorry. Woo. You don't want to see me. Um, it doesn't tell you if it's double-sided adhesive or if it's port glue. They're, they're not going to tell you that. So um, it was kind of a shot in the dark. I, I kind of figured for the price it would have been port glue. And that's another somewhat of a con. I mean, $37.99. I guess that's not too bad for a 45 by 45 but um, a little pricey in my opinion. So anyway. Tiger Club by The Good Canvas. Um, for those of you new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, you know, hit that like button and subscribe if you choose and ring the bell so you know when I put up uh, videos. To my Patreons, of course. Love all of you dearly, my lovely sugars. Um, I do have a new Facebook group that my friend Melody and I started. Um, it's called Diamond Painting Adventures and Craft Hobbies. I'll have that link down below, so feel free to join us uh, on the Facebook group. We're going to do some giveaways and some events uh, for September. So, uh, yeah, join that. And, of course, as you know, I do have a Patreon account. Feel free to check that out. It is no way, shape, or form necessary for anyone to uh, join it, uh, but I've had some people ask about it. So it is down in the link below. If you just keep scrolling, um, you'll see that link, and you can... Look, I've got a couple of different options on my Patreon if you would choose to support the channel. And that just, um, that support from you goes back into the channel to bring you things like this. So I can show you new awesome things that I find <laughs> that I would like to share with all of you and see what your thoughts are. Um, and I like to get things, you know, and make sure they're okay before other people buy them. I don't want people to go and buy things that aren't worth um, buying. So I'm happy to test things out for people. So anyway, all right, everybody have a lovely week and hopefully um, you're staying safe. Wash your hands, do all that good stuff. For all of, all of you that were affected by the hurricanes, um, thoughts and prayers go out to you. I hope everybody is okay. Um, I know hurricane, Laura <laughs> was not nice. Um, and um, funny story real quick, my aunt actually texted me and said, hey, can you like turn around and go the other way? Because they're in Alabama. Um, so that was kind of funny, but because um, my name's Laura. Anyway, that, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling at this point. I'm sorry. It's, it's late. So yeah. All right. Everybody have a great week <laughs> and I will see you again really soon. Bye guys.